Hi there, I'm Peter from petersme.com. In the videos about each one, I present the practice that was developed and simplified from the original practice by very known Xinyi Chuan master Wang Xiang Zhai, who lived in the first half of 20th century in China. It was simplified and used for martial arts training as well as the practice for developing inner strength and building up individuals' qi levels. That's important for me as a healer. I need a tool with which I can recharge myself and what is better way to do that than doing qigong. How is it done? You're standing in a normal stance your shoulder width wide, your knees are softened and lightly bent. In this set you are holding your arms in different positions for extended periods of time. You should suspend your arms in the manner of extending them outward. How is this done? You make a light oval behind your back in the level of shoulder blades and as you do that you should open your shoulder blades outward. This will automatically give more space to your arms and extend them. At the same time you will need to relax your shoulders completely downwards like this. Put your weight under or below your arms so your upper muscles can relax. Bring your attention under your armpits. Suspend and relax your shoulders downwards. People often tend to pull their shoulders upward towards their head and neck, making it impossible to stand in such position and build up the energy, since such position only blocks the energy flow. Breathe normally with no more than 70% of your capacity. Try to breathe with your lower dantian. Once you are in a posture and your arms and whole body is relaxed, you can start to feel how connected is your body. From within outwards, the movement of expansion will come. While you breathe, your lungs, diaphragm and abdomen will expand and move your whole body and its parts. Your spine will lengthen, your back will expand in oval shape, your head sutures will open and your brain will resonate in slower rhythms, which is very important. Your arms will lengthen as well as your legs your organs will start pulsating in their own rhythms as they will get more space and consequently more chi. In the future, this process might go on beyond the physical level into the field and into the other energy bodies that you were not aware you had before. Big potential, if you ask me. To make this practice correctly, we need to lead the energy downwards toward our roots in the ground. Simply lead the chi with your attention while you inhale downward toward your Yongchuan points on your soles. There you can stop. However, if you want to activate the earth chi, you should go beyond your physical boundaries into the ground. Imagine the roots growing from your soles and enlighten them or wash them or bring that electricity or warmth down to, down to them and feed them. Another way of 
Leading the chi downward is connecting three areas on the back side of the body. Three areas that we should connect are shoulder blades, your buttocks and heels. This will result in abundant stream of energy that will feel like internal shower, bringing the light and life down to the parts that were missing it for a long time. The third way to lead the energy downward is connecting your tailbone with your feet. This will connect Yang Du Mai Extraordinary Meridian with the most yin point, yong chuan points, or kidney one. This mindset and practice will in time activate the infinite reservoir of Earth's Qi available to you for any purpose you choose. In the past, this part of training took about 80% of time to reach that level when the Earth's Qi was activated and started to move back upwards. For more about this topic, please visit petersme.com. May the chi be with you. Bye.